Hi, welcome back to the channel. So, bike packing, being self sufficient, whenever you need to camp, eat and drink for at least two days is our usual setup. And um, I thought I'd just share some of the ideas and stuff that we use because people have been asking what we all carry when we go. So, we split the tent between us, and I usually tend to carry the food and the water. Glenda carries a tent, so we balance out the weight that way. And um, so we always carry enough food for two of us for two days, so that's breakfast and a evening meal with a plan of a midday stop at a cafe or a pub for a meal. So we buy one bought meal a day, if, if um, we can that is. So here's what I'm using, kit wise. So a Decathlon 3 season sleeping bag goes into an Alkip 20 litre bar bag with the Van Gogh 3 quarter um, bed mat rolled up and also stuff in there a silk liner and a inflatable pillow. So that goes into the 20 litre bar bag. So we mount that onto a Alkip Kanga handlebar harness. Now I mount that with the cables in front so that way when you put the bag on the cables actually don't get bent. I've broken cables at the brake lever ends so this seems to work without any ghost shifting or that. It's a good setup. Two bottles mounted on the forks and a one litre bottle on the down tube for water and then with a waterproof um, fuel tank top bag that carries my phone and a waterproof bag, bum butter and a spare GoPro battery mount. Tools go in the bottom of the frame bag at the back, all my usual stuff, foot pump, um, tire sealant, um, worms for tubeless plus CO2 bottles if the pump fails, two inner tubes and that all goes at the back and then we've got all our cooking kit and the compulsory hip flask as you can see. Blue roll, first aid, paracetamol, toothbrush etc. And then the stove kit which is a windbreaker, a tea mug, and head torch obviously for nighttime camping. And there's all my stove set up. I tend to carry a second stove. So G's stove does the main cooking and I just do the water boiling for coffees and stuff. Remember these X Army can openers. You can still get them, mine's getting a bit rusty but handy to have. So that's all the tools and camping gear in the frame bag, still room in there. So waterproof seat bag is used for my extra clothes for evening wear and if it gets cold put some extra layers there to put on. So merino base layer boxers and socks to change into in the evening to get out sweaty cycling clothes. I've got a tarp as well for cooking under if it's raining and uh, a decathlon synthetic down jacket if it gets cold too. Handy to go to the a buff and a pack light windbreaker for warmth, just goes in the top of the frame bag. So clothes I wear are just the usual cycling gear for fair weather cycling that I can bulk up and add warmth to with waterproofs and a down synthetic down jacket. So I've got my outkit stretch hoodie and there you can see the Mackinac sack waterproof jacket and outkit over trousers. So the usual under shorts, three quarter shorts, long sleeve and short sleeve, base layers, helmet with sunglasses which I'll leave the case at home, short and long finger gloves and then on my feet I wear my decathlon, quick drying but brilliant shoes, I'm going to do a review on these, they've got Alka um, gaiters. So my waterproofs go in my backpack which has nothing else except food so as, as we eat it gets lighter. So back to the frame bag, there's still room in there. So what we do is we put the, I take the tent poles and pegs 
Paul Glenn's got a 10 and we spot the weight that way. So everything's done on the bike so it's just a case of loading up the food and water supplies which might include some whiskey or some gin. In that case it's the Ardbowl whiskey this now. So the food we're taking is something to eat food. It's brilliant, easy to make, doesn't take a lot of water to heat and flavours are really nice as well. So that's the bike packed nearly. Only thing I forgot is snacks. Most important thing at the end of the day, you just want that little bit of sugar or energy to get to the end of the, the trail. Uh, I usually have nuts or dried fruit on one and tang fast sticks on the other. So you wonder where to go? You can go anywhere you want in Scotland and buy some OS maps and get plotting routes. Don't bother all that commute electronic nonsense, buy a map and plot your routes and uh, you'll find a lot more and uh, speak to folk who will recommend places to go and places to avoid. Get out and enjoy yourself. So thanks for watching, leave your comments and more soon. Bye for now.